In today's video, we're going to be covering the top 10 products to drop ship in April 2023. Not only that, but we're also going to be checking out how these products are being advertised, how you can advertise them, who you should be advertising them to. We're going to check out an example of a drop shipping store that currently carries this item. And we're going to check out the suppliers to see how much we can get it for, as well as how much we can sell it for and see how much our potential profit is going to be. Now, that was a lot to say. So let me catch my breath really quick. Let's run that intro and then let's get started. What's going on everyone, Mara here with Out of the S where we talk about all things dropshipping and we bring you the latest and most trending items out on the market. So for the past few months or years, we've been bringing you these monthly product suggestions and you all seem to absolutely love it. So we're gonna keep continuing with the top monthly products to dropship in April, 2023. So without waiting any longer, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. And the first product that we have here is the portable camping lamp. Now the selling price for this is about $33 and 76 cents. The sourcing price is gonna be about $10 and 39 cents, leaving you with a potential profit of 23 dollars and 37 cents so let's quickly take a look at the seller's facebook ad so taking a quick look at the ad they're showing what the lamp itself looks like how bright it can go showing it outside they're showing its uses it actually does look pretty bright oh it's usb powered you can charge it with usb it is waterproof and that's about it so it's a pretty good simple straightforward ad it tells you exactly what it is all its uses and its features now let's take a look at the description we're going to look at the name of the store itself it's called fight so longs that is a pretty strange name to be honest with you i'm not fully sure what that even means personally on a page like this or on an ad, I would put an actual business name, something a bit more catchy, something a bit more trustworthy, maybe. Maybe put a name that actually means something or is a bit more relevant to the item that you're selling or the niche that you're selling in. Now, taking a look at the description, it shows a little heart face emoji. I need it on my patio. You can save a lot of electricity when partying at night and watch a romantic movie under the beautiful lights. And then the link to the product itself. Uh, again, that description just isn't the best. It doesn't have a lot of keywords in it. it. It tells you you could save a little bit of electricity or you can have a romantic night under the stars but i mean i don't know I, I really wouldn't be partying with just one of these lights outside <laughs> honestly this description leaves a lot to be desired you can write a way better one by simply just going to chat gpt and asking it to write you a product description actually you know what let's go ahead and do that just let's go over the rest of this ad and then i'll check out an example of what chat gpt can spit out for us so aside from the description here on the side you have down here suitable for indoor and outdoor which is pretty obvious <laughs> so aside from that wow the ad itself actually has a lot of comments 715 comments and in views it has over two million views. So these people are definitely targeting the right audience. The comments themselves are saying they're really bright. Excellent buy. My next door neighbors have this for walking chi at night. It's great. Great lantern. I want one. I got two of these. Love them. I love it. Very bright. Got mine today. Good light. So the reviews overall are very positive. These reviews show a ton of social proof. When people read these reviews, they feel a lot more comfortable making the purchase, but they would feel even more comfortable with a proper description. And we're going to get to that in just a second. Okay. So taking a look at the seller's website, we can see here the name of the store, all the way to the top fight so long again i'm not a huge fan of that name i don't know what it means to me it's just telling me to keep on fighting on the top left you have happy new year it's a little bit outdated for that we're already in march but let's take a look at the item itself so fire 2023 new year's promotion portable retro camping lamp the title tells you exactly what it is but it's not very user friendly it's not very friendly to read they could also be optimized and made a lot better a lot friendlier to read which again you could use chat gpt for under that you have promotion buy two get an extra 10 percent off it's currently on sale for $25.99. We have some easy to choose color variations, the style, whether you want battery or rechargeable, how many you want, and a bit of detail down here. They have the worldwide express shipping, fast refunds. If you're not satisfied within 90 days, you can return it, secure payments via PayPal and credit card. You have the add to cart, buy it now. If you keep scrolling down, you see all the different features of the lamp itself. You can see what it's used for, all its features. Let's see how the language is on all this. Is it understandable? Specifications. I feel like this right here, these specifications probably probably could have been made a bit bigger, a bit more easier to read. And while this description does look okay, there's just so much empty white space on the left that I don't know, it just doesn't look right. Let's take a quick read over here under quality materials. Retro LED camping light made of waterproof material plus ABS lampshade can be used in the rain. It is also impact and slip resistant. They are very durable. So it's easy to read. It's easy to understand. It's straight to the point. It is, however, very basic. And the text itself also looks really basic. It's just, it's really small on the screen. It looks good. It gets the job done, but it could be so much better. All right, so now let's go ahead and check out the supplier. So here you see that it's currently on sale for $7.88. It's about 34% off. The shipping is $2.27. And that's not bad. It has a 75 day buyer protection. So you have 75 days to return it if anything happens. Aside from that, let's check out the description on here really fast. The battery version and the rechargeable version. Atmosphere camping lamp. This down here is very hard to read. The letters are really close. Stepless dimming IPX4. Let's see what we can take from here to give to chat GPT to be able to 
spit out a good and user-friendly product description. Uh, there's actually not too much when it comes to the description. Let's see. All right, so what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna click on over to specifications. I see all of this here. I'm just gonna copy all of this and I'm gonna go on over to ChatGPT. Now, once I'm here, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell it, give me a product description with the following. Let's make it nice and let's add bullet points. Add bullet points. All right, let's see what it comes up with. Introducing the Beavins Portable Light, a versatile and reliable lighting solution for all of your outdoor activities. Now, just that first sentence alone sounds way better than what they had on the Facebook ad. So model number, not specified. We can always edit that or just completely remove it. Usage, ideal for camping, fishing, picnics, and other outdoor activities. Light source, equipped with efficient LED bulbs that provide bright and long lasting illumination. Certification, no certification available. We just delete that. Battery type, powered by standard AAA batteries. Or we can also make a second version that just says rechargeable. Body material, made from durable and lightweight ABS material, ensuring long lasting use. So just reading the first half of what ChatGPT gave us, we have a way better product description than what the seller has on the website itself and what the supplier has. Think about it, we just took everything that was here under specifications, copied, pasted, and ChatGPT gave us a great product description. If this seller is getting over 2 million views on this ad, imagine how many sales are getting. Now that's just with the way that they have it structured. How many more sales or interactions could you get with a way better product description, title, but the title and description can be made so much better. And with something like ChatGPT, you can make it way better. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, they are obviously advertising this to the right people. Their target audience is correct. Everything seems to be going the way that they need it to go in order to start getting sales. So let's see exactly who they're targeting. So the target audience in this case is going to be both male and female. The ages are going to be between 18 to 45. Marital status, married and single, because that's really not going to make too much of a difference. So choose both. Under interests, it's going to be people that are interested in electronics, camping, hiking, and outdoor activities, which makes a lot of sense considering the fact that it is a camping light. Another way that you can broaden your audience when it comes to this type of product is look at different areas in different countries. Let's say, for example, Florida in the US. We get a lot of hurricanes here. So whenever the lights go out, we need something to keep the house lit. So for maybe a little extra boost, let's say during hurricane season, you can advertise this to an extra demographic of people that live in hurricane prone cities or states. Obviously, this wouldn't be something that you're advertising either during hurricane season or maybe after. This would be something that you start advertising maybe three or four months prior to something like hurricane season coming. So that way people can purchase it and have the product on time just in case the lights do end up going out, which a lot of the times they do. All right, so let's move on to our second product and that's gonna be the wireless ear cuff headphones. This product sells for about $37.58. The sourcing price is about $15.69, leaving you with a potential profit of $21.89. So just like previously, let's go ahead and check out first the seller's Facebook ad. And here you see the comment. <laughs> Okay, that's like that, that caught my attention. The beginning of that caught my attention. That was good. That was funny. The entire thing is in Chinese, so you can tell that this is a Chinese seller. They're showing off all the features. It's pretty straightforward. They show how the headpiece cups to your ears and how it stays in there securely even as you're exercising, which that's a huge problem with a lot of these headphones or earphones. A lot of people complain that when they're working out, if they're running, if they're doing any sort of exercise, especially that has a lot of movement, that it falls out. So something like this is perfect for people that go to the gym or work out in general. Uh, we only got a couple seconds left, so let's continue. You can show the person talking and showing the headset, how it's securely on there and it's not coming off. And he's pointing at you, telling you, you need to buy this. So the video itself was pretty good. I liked it straight to the point, showed off all the features and showed off probably the best part of it, which is the fact that it doesn't come off. Another thing that they clearly showed on the video is the fact that you're able to still listen to what's going on around you even while you're wearing your headphones. So these are obviously not noise canceling. Now taking a look at the rest of the ad, the name of the company itself is Bright underscore Meteors. Here I think it would look a lot better if you just put Bright without the underscore and with the M in uppercase. Now the description shows be safe, present, and aware, introducing a new open ear headphone that lets you listen to music and sound but also hear the world around you. I like that description. It's straightforward, straight to the point, and and it's grammatically correct. You can understand it. It's clear. It's good. I like it. Could it be made better? Probably, but overall good. So aside from the description here, right under the video, you're going to see wireless ear clip bone conduction headphones. I'm not a huge fan of that description, bone conducting headphones, but that's definitely something that we can easily improve and just make a lot more legible and informative. So this ad has over 6.9 thousand likes, 497 comments, and 2.6 million 
views. So now let's go check out the seller's website. So on the website, it looks extremely similar to the last one. The color scheme seems to be the same. The logo up top is bright meteors with what looks to be kind of like a cup or a mug in the shape of a skull. Both of these seem to be very generic stores. They don't seem to be niche based. So let's check out the title for this. 49% off wireless ear clip bone conduction headphones. I think that's a horrible title. Before we even continue, let's go ahead and see what we can do to improve the title. Let's run over to ChatGPT really quick. So just so you all know, I'm not going to be doing this for every single product on this list. I'm only going to be doing it for a handful of them, specifically the ones that have really bad titles. So in this case, we're looking at ear cuffs. So let's do give me a product title for earphones that are shaped like a cuff that securely fit in your ear. Something simple. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. All right, let's see what it gives us. Cuff fit earphones, securely shaped for ultimate comfort and sound quality. That alone is way better than the one that they have. So cuff fit earphones. Think about that one. Cuff fit earphones. I like it. It has a really good ring to it. So let's go ahead and continue. It shows that the regular price is $49.99 and is currently on sale for $29.99. You're going to see this in almost every single dropshipping store that you see. Putting something on sale is a marketing tactic. If you come back to it in about a month, more than likely, it's still going to be on sale for the same exact price. Two months, three months down the road, same thing. It shows that 1.3 thousand of these have sold. That's a lot. It's been recommended by 11,000 people on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. 820 people are viewing it right now. I'm not entirely sure about that one, but you never know. So let's scroll down a little bit. You have some pretty clear images of the product itself, different color variations. You have here easy color choice. So you can choose between white, black, or both. You can get a two pack. You can do buy one, buy two and save $10, or you can buy three and save 20. So they're implying bundling. Remember that bundling items or selling items as a set or in packs of two or three, it's a great way to increase your average order value. Just bring in some more profits. The best part about this is a lot of times when you place an order, let's say with AliExpress and you order more than maybe two items, a lot of the times you're going to get a discount. So this seller is definitely getting a discount when they sell more. So they are going to be increasing their profits. Scroll down a little bit. You have the guaranteed safe checkout. These are all trust badges. It helps the buyer gain trust in making an actual purchase. Now, if we scroll down, it shows that it's got five stars. It's the number one best seller. Be safe, present and aware, introducing a new open ear headphone. All right, you got the product description there. You have some images of people using it. Do you also encounter the following scenarios? Carry on a conversation without stopping the music, open workspace, background music that doesn't send, do not approach message. Okay, so the wording on this website isn't the best. I can kind of understand what it's trying to get to, but the description on this, the wording on all this can be made a lot better. All right, so the rest of this is pretty much the same thing, just giving you a bunch of different features. I don't like the fact that it's images followed by a little bit of text. And then if you keep scrolling all the way down, then you get to see the other features. These features, it should probably be towards the top because this is the stuff that people want to know almost immediately. Like, look at this. Main body music playback can be continuous for six and a half hours. Put in the shell charging specifications. Again, this could be worded way better. You can either word this yourself or just put it into chat GPT. But this is something that should be located towards the top of the description. So in my opinion, take that description, take the features of it, put them up here. And then these trust badges, lower them a little bit because while yes, it does make you feel safe when purchasing it. That's not the first thing I want to see. The first thing I want to see are the features of the item that I'm looking at. What I do like though is down here, it has the static add to cart button. So no matter where I go on the page, I'm going to have the option to add to cart. All right. So let's check out the supplier now. All right. So the supplier is selling this for $14.20 with free shipping. The supplier has four different reviews. 16 people have ordered it and it has five stars. So that's actually pretty good. You know, people have been purchasing it. So looking at the reviews, it does have five stars. It shows that they're AliExpress shoppers. So you should be good using the supplier. Should be fairly trustworthy. Obviously this description definitely leaves a lot to be desired, but that doesn't matter because ultimately we're making our own descriptions. And now let's go check out the demographic that you want to target when you're advertising these ear cuffs. So the target audience is going to be both male and female between the ages of 18 and 35. The marital status, single and married. Interests is going to be mobile accessories, tech savvy, cyclists, and runners. In there, I would probably put in gym goers, maybe something that has to do with the gym itself, probably reach a bit of a broader audience, but that's just me. Now, before we do go ahead and continue, I want to mention that if you want access to all of these different products, if you want access to all of these links, the selling prices, the potential profits, the Facebook ad demonstrations, if you want access to any of this, if you want access to anything that I'm talking about in this video, I have an easy to reference cheat sheet. So if you want access to that, just go ahead and comment down below April 2023, along with which one of these is your favorite product. And I'll reply back with a link to the sheet. So onto number three, we have the 
Creative Contour Highlighter Pen. This has a selling price of $24.13 on average, a sourcing price of $10.59, and a potential profit of $13.54. So let's go ahead and check out Facebook ad. All right, so at first glance, this looks like a pen that has a roller at the end. So what this does is pretty much just make patterns. So depending on the roller at the end, it's gonna depend on the pattern and of course the color. All right, so this is obviously a product that is more geared towards kids and the advertising is obviously geared towards the parents. So let's check out the description itself shows these flare pens are popular gift for kids or adults who like to express imagination. Get yours here. Basic, straight to the point. It doesn't really tell you anything about the product itself. So when writing your description, add a bit more, add that maybe these pens have unique patterns. They help make patterns a lot easier. They make drawing more fun. There's a lot of things that you can add to it. This is obviously just a very basic description. Good comments here. The interactions with the Facebook ad itself is 35,000 likes and loves, 2.7 thousand comments and 5 million views. So these people are definitely targeting the right demographic. Now let's check out the seller's website. So this brings me back to what I commented in the previous listing. This is more of a generic store rather than a niche store. Again, the title is the same as the other one. It highlights the percentage that you're getting off along with the name of the product itself, Curve Highlighter Pen. I don't like this title one bit. I think it's a horrible title. It doesn't give you any description of what the pens do or the fact that they have patterns on them or rollers. Here, that title is absolutely horrendous. You can do a way better job. So it shows that this one has 3,000 sold and just like the other one, it has a few more statistics. Easy to read selections, one set, which brings six pieces or two sets, which bring 12 pieces and you get an extra 20% off. And then you get the three sets, which total up to 18 pieces along with free shipping. Let's check out the images that they have. So this first one is a GIF. The second one is showing off the different patterns that the different markers have along with the different colors. The third one is pretty much the same thing. Fourth one is the same thing, just in use. Another GIF and same thing, just showing off the patterns and the rollers at the end. That I think is actually really important, having a close up of the tips so that way people can see how they work. Now let's scroll down a little bit. Why not consider giving this fun pen set as a gift? For now, these pens are popular gifts for kids or adults who like to express imagination. I mean, you, you, you can definitely rewrite all of this and just make it a lot better. So once again, it has a little bit of text, a big image, and then it brings you to the features. A little bit more, then more features, then more features as you keep scrolling down, and then the specifications. I really don't like the fact that the specifications and the features, the sellers keep putting them towards the bottom. This is something that people want to know immediately. The moment I look at a product, I want to know what I'm getting into. I want to find out the description. I want to find the specifications, and I just want to see what the product is about and what it has. I don't like looking for it. I like it to be there, and potential customers feel the same way. But overall, it looks clean. It's easy to buy it now, and their main focus here is just getting people to hit add to cart. Now, let's check out the supplier. So on AliExpress, this item is selling for $6.60 with a shipping fee of $3.37. Now, it has four-star review with four orders and only one review. As you can see, it only has color A, which is the six different pens, which tells me that when you purchase the set of two from the website, you're just getting two of the same colors. We look at the description, really, it's basic, but they do implement what I mentioned earlier of putting the description up top and then the images under. Yeah, it's pretty much same thing going down the rest of images. Let's check out the target audience. So we have the gender, it's gonna be female. So they're targeting mainly women with this ad between the ages of 18 to 45 that are single and married and their interests are makeup accessories, students and children. That actually explains why all of the comments in the Facebook ad was people talking about their grandkids or their students because of the target audience that was selected for it. Okay, so onto our fourth item and that's gonna be the wolf pendant necklace. Now this necklace sells for an average price of $29.53. You can purchase it for about $7.48, leaving you with a potential profit of $22.05. So taking a quick look at the Facebook ad, you can see that the name of the company is Viennese and the description reads, let this wolf necklace give you all the courage you need to overcome difficulties, get one here. I like that, it's a simple description, it's pretty meaningful and it shows that a lot of people that could potentially be buying this could either be giving this as a gift or keeping it for themselves with the hopes of the pendant itself representing courage. And that in itself is huge. Having a piece of jewelry or an item that represents something, people absolutely love that. So having a cool little pendant in the shape of a fang with a wolf on top of it representing courage is a pretty fantastic idea. So let's go ahead and check out the interactions here. So this doesn't have as many shares or interactions as the previous ones, but it has 1.3 thousand likes or loves, 38 different comments, and 61 shares. Now, if you scroll down a little bit, you can actually see here that somebody is wearing it in the comments. A little blurry, but you can see how it looks. It's a decent size and it looks pretty cool. And you can see received mine in a timely manner and it was pretty
pretty happy with it. I need, and they commented back with link. I'm in Durban, South Africa. They can send to Africa. I need it where I can get it. All right, so just like the other ones, it's showing a good amount of social proof, a good amount of people saying that they like it and that they want to purchase it, which again, gives people the comfort in actually making the purchase. Now let's check out the seller's website. I'm actually curious to see what it looks like. And it looks fairly clean. I like how the layout of this website it looks. It's clean, straight to the point, energy style LXI. I don't like the fact that it doesn't really tell you that it's a wolf pendant. The title of the product here is just energy style LXI. But aside from that, it shows that it sold about 473. It has 10 different reviews currently on sale for $28.95 down from $57.90. Remember I mentioned that this is something you're going to consistently see discounts upon discounts upon discounts. They're not really discounted. It's just marketing technique. So make sure you always try to implement something similar into your stores. And it's showing that the sale ends in 15 hours. Now, one thing I'm going to say about this as well is that's also a great marketing technique or a great marketing tactic. This makes the person that's looking at your website, it gives them a sense of urgency or a sense of pressure that they need to purchase it now because they could potentially miss out. Right under that, they have the buy two, get 10% off promotion, the type of necklace that it is, which in this case is just currently silver and how many you want to buy. It gives you a bit more details at the cart, buy it now, it gives you an estimated shipping date. And it also gives you here the trust badges, but it's not as big as in the first listing. It's pretty small and straight to the point. Right under it, it gives you a little motivation, never give up, and a description that shows wolves play a very important role in Norse mythology. The wolf is commonly known as a symbol for either the warrior or the darker side. So this is what I was talking about earlier. Having a piece of jewelry that can represent something, it feels good to have it, but having meaningful jewelry pieces is something that people absolutely love. So let's check out the different pictures. Here it shows the wolf with the fang, never give up, what it looks like, which the way that they show it here actually looks pretty similar to the comment that was on the Facebook post. The size seems pretty appropriate. Same thing with this one as this person's holding it in their hand. High quality stainless steel necklace, not easy to wear and easy to disassemble. Okay, so here I think they should have definitely fixed a few of these things because it's showing that it's not easy to wear. These are the kinds of things that you need to pay attention to. Make sure you keep an eye on all these little details because not easy to wear is gonna make people think that it doesn't fit well or it's uncomfortable. So I would have just completely taken that part off. Smooth surface, comfortable to wear. So you see right under it, it shows that it's got a smooth surface and it's comfortable to wear. So it's kind of contradicting. Old and retro treatment, add a mystery to you, mysterious gothic style carved. It could have gone without that bottom part, but that's fine. So let's check out the description itself on the side. It gets straight to the point, materials and production, about the anise, shipping, returns and service, and then the review. And under the reviews, just more suggested products. So this is actually a very good and very clean example of a website or a product page. The only thing I would change on here is, as I said, the not easy to wear and the product title. The product title could be made a lot better, but aside from that, it's a pretty clean and good looking and trustworthy website. So now let's check out a supplier for the item where the seller is sourcing their items from. So this is on AliExpress. They have this same chain for $4.02 with a shipping fee of $1.95. Now this has one review with a five-star review, but it has over 500 orders. Aside from that, this seller actually has tons of different variations. So it has a Medusa pendant and Eagle pendants, it has the wolf, a moon with a skull, which that one actually looks pretty cool, and a bunch of different other ones. That owl one is actually really nice. They they should add that one onto their website because that one's good. So if you continue down, you can see that the length of the chain itself is 60 centimeters. The descriptions and the images on here are pretty good, pretty clean. Everything looks good. Now let's check out the customer reviews. Perfecto. So I guess they think it's perfect. You got five stars. Should be pretty trustworthy seller to purchase from. It does show that it ships from China, but the delivery date is April 6th, and today is March 7th. So it would be about a month. Here you have a couple of different options to make a little bit more money. So if you bundle it and you sell over a certain amount, you can get free shipping for orders over $43. And you also get an extra 1% off along with $3 off orders over seven US dollars. So there's a bunch of different ways that you can upsell to be able to make a bit more profit. Now taking a quick look at the target demographic for the Facebook ad, you can see that it is geared towards both male and female between the ages of 18 and 35, single, married, with interests in jewelries and accessories, fashion and gifts, which makes a lot of sense because this is obviously a piece of jewelry. It's fashion jewelry. It's not luxurious jewelry. It does have to do with fashion and it's a great gift to give. Now in our fifth spot, we have probably one of my favorite ones, which is the thumbs up cell phone holder. Now I know this is a winning product because a few days ago, my mom actually walked in with one of these and she said that everyone in her job got one. So people like these. All right, so let's check out the selling price. So the selling price for this is about $14.18. The source price is about 
$2.80, which makes sense because really it's just like a little piece of plastic. And the potential profit is $11.38. Let's check out the Facebook ad for this. So they're showing how flexible it is, how you can wrap it around your phone. It's secure, the phone's not gonna fall. You can adjust it at different angles. It bends, so it's not gonna break. And that's pretty much it. It also shows the different colors. Overall, they did a pretty good job with it. I mean, there's not really too much more that you can show off with this type of product, but they showed all the features. They showed how secure it is that your phone's not gonna fall. And they showed something that's actually really important, which people don't really think about until they actually purchase the phone holders. And that's the fact that you can change the different viewing angles. So that in itself, I really liked. Now let's look at the description. So the name of the brand or page is Mirth More Cute. I'm not sure what Mirth means, but I'm assuming they want it to be more cute. Now Christmas is coming, that was a while ago, but this ad is back from October 29th. After a certain time, you should update your ad. Don't make it look too outdated. This one is from October, but you can always stop your ad, make a few adjustments and make it more relevant to the current time when it's gonna be running. So let's say you ran it once during Christmas, it did great, perfect. Now Valentine's Day is coming up, update it so that way you get rid of any Christmas references and just make it for Valentine's Day. So the text here reads, Christmas is coming, your family and friends may love this special and cute phone holder. So it's pretty straight to the point. I mean, there's really not much to it. It is just a phone holder. I guess they could have added the fact that it's flexible, your kids aren't gonna drop it and break it or something along those lines. Just like the other ads, great social proof, great reviews. It has over 14,000 likes and loves, 1.5 thousand comments, and 3.1 million views. I don't like that name, Mirth More Cute. I really don't, but I would have definitely changed that one. But let's go ahead and check out the seller's website. Let's see what it looks like. So the name of this website is Mirth More, and the pictures here clearly show what the item is, the different sized tablets and phones that it can hold. Here it shows it's holding a Kindle, a phone with a case, which is actually pretty good because a lot of people have an issue where their phone holders don't always work if they have the case attached to them. So this is actually really good. It's great that they're showing the fact that this product works with a phone using a case. Aside from that, it shows the different ways that you can use it, different holding positions, different colors, and overall it's pretty good, pretty clean. Now the product title is Last Day Promotion, just like the past few ones, they include the discount on the title. Lazy Thumb Stand, they should have added here something along the lines of Lazy Phone Stand or lazy thumb phone stand, something that tells you that it's gonna be holding a phone or a tablet. The price, again, it's discounted at $6.98, down from $11.99. Have a couple of discount coupons here, all the different color variations. If you have any issues, you can contact this email, their payments, some trust badges, a bit more information on the different savings that you can have, some shipping. And then if you scroll down, you're gonna get the images. You got a couple gifts, the features. At least they put the feature here towards the top. Even though they put an image on top of that, they should have put the features on top. At least it's towards the top. Keep scrolling down a bit, you have more features, universal compatibility, then you have adjustable viewing, specifications. So I think overall, this is a pretty good example for a website. There are a few things that you can make a lot better that you can optimize, but overall, it's pretty straightforward, gives you the features, tells you what you need to know about the product, and gives you the pricing along with the breakdowns and the different variations. Now let's go ahead and check out the supplier. And for the supplier, we've got AliExpress, and they're actually only selling it for 99 cents with a shipping fee of a dollar. Now this does have a lot of really good reviews. It has a 4.6 star review with 32 different reviews and 147 orders. So before we continue to the description of this, let's go ahead and click on that. And here you can see that it has images, all of these positive reviews. One really good thing that you can do is if you're selling on something like Shopify, there's apps that you can use to be able to import these reviews and import them into your products page or your listings on your website. When somebody goes to your website and they see reviews like this, they see all these positive reviews and they see customer images, they feel a lot more trusting and a lot more comfortable in actually making a purchase. All right, so let's check out the target audience for this product. And this is male and females between the ages of 18 and 35, single and married, with their interests in gadgets, technology enthusiasts, as well as mobile accessories. Now, I think the key one here is gonna be either gadgets and mobile accessories, because that's what this is, it's a mobile accessory. All right, so let's go ahead and continue to our sixth product, and that's gonna be the three-piece fluffy pajama set. This product has a selling price of about $43.86, has a source price of $19.02, and it has a potential profit of $24.84. So let's take a quick look at the Facebook ad here and it's showing a woman wearing the set. It's showing the different color combinations and the way she touches her arm and the sleeve can show how fluffy and how soft it is. That's pretty much it after that it just loops. All right, so it's pretty straightforward. It shows the entire pajama set with a few of the different color variations and that's pretty much all there is to it. Aside from that, let's check out the seller's brand name. Here it shows Back Copond. Not a huge fan of that name. This is the most flattering pajama set ever. 
That's it. Nothing else. It doesn't tell you how soft it is. It doesn't tell you what it could be made out of. I think here, one of the best things that you could do is just add how soft it could potentially be. The interactions on this are pretty good. So it does have 190 likes and loves, nine comments, which is all right, and has about 28,000 views. Now, aside from that, you just have another little description here. Stay warm, cute, and cozy when lounging or in bed. So at least that tells you that you can stay warm and keep looking cute. All right, so let's check out the seller's website. So for the website, it's called Back Co Pond. Okay, so here I can actually understand it a bit more. Back Co Pond. I'm still not entirely sure what that means, but okay. New Year's sales, 48% off. Cozy net set, three pieces. Here on the images, it shows you all of the different variations, the different colors with the same exact image. So this tells me that these images are actually probably Photoshopped, but that's beside the point. So here under color, you can choose the different color variations. Each time you click the color, it changes the image to the appropriate color, which is good. Gives you the different sizes all the way from small to 3XL. Shows here that it's currently on sale for $35.80, down from $78.99. 60, 660 visitors currently looking at this product. So this is saying that over 600 people are currently looking at this product. Whether that's true or not, I'm not entirely sure. This could just be another badge or a trust badge. You know, something that can potentially make you feel a bit pressured to purchase it or give you the sense of urgency to purchase it because you don't want it to run out. Then right under it, you have the add to cart, buy it now, a few savings options when you're bundling or purchasing more. And this is actually nice. This is something that I haven't seen in any of the other listings, the frequently bought together. So this is great to upsell. So if somebody's looking at this and they think, oh, I really like this orange one and they decide to purchase the orange one, they scroll down, they're going to see, oh, you know what? A lot of people are purchasing these other items. Let me add these to the cart as well. So having a frequently bought together option is a great thing to have. After that, you have the trust badges, which are very similar to the other ones. Tips, all goods are authentic with genuine patents. Counterfeits must be investigated. Customers, please identify our products. I guess they probably have their own unique items that other people have potentially been trying to copy. So if you scroll down, you're going to see somebody wearing the pajama set. Then you're going to keep going down. It's going to be more people wearing it. A little bit of a description here. Are you looking for the perfect outfit to wear on a lazy Sunday? Well, we've got just the thing. All right. So it's got a bit of a description here. This is a must for every lady. All right. So this is good. I like the layout of it. The only thing I'm not liking is the fact that it's an image, text, image, text, image, text. It's probably better to bunch up most of the images towards the bottom have your information on the top, have all the specifications, as I mentioned earlier. But overall, it's not a bad page. Pretty straightforward, pretty straight to the point. And everything on here really focuses on the pajama set. And it even gives you a how to pay up section, which teaches you how to input your credit card information. That is something I have not seen yet. And then it just tells you their guarantee and where they ship to, which is pretty much worldwide. All right, so let's go on over to the supplier. Let's check out the supplier for this item. And on AliExpress, this is selling for $18.18 .18 with free shipping. And the shipping takes roughly about a month as well. Now here, the same as the listing, you have all the different color options with all the different sizing options. You have some fairly similar images here, which is probably what they copied from. You see like these two, uh, you see right there, the difference between these two images, you can tell that it was Photoshopped. So now let's check out the target audience. And in this case, it's gonna be, the gender is gonna be female. It's gonna be pretty much all women between the ages of 18 and 40, single or married, and their interests are gonna include women's clothing, gifts, and winter clothing. Winter clothing is good because it's warm. It's a warm pajama set. Now coming into our number seven spot, we have the insulated lunch container. This sells for about $59.47, has a source price of $32.60, and has a potential profit of $26.87. So let's go ahead and check out the Facebook ad for this product. We can see somebody packing up a lunch. They have fruits on everything, showing the type of stainless steel that it is. I believe that's 304 grade stainless steel. It has its own little insulating package, which is pretty cool. So you're able to stack them and you're able able to put them into your own little carrying case. I could take hot soup to work for lunch, superior temperature insulation, make a food grade stainless steel, leak and spill proof. Okay, so down here, it pretty much tells you everything you need to know in broken English, but it's legible and it tells you what you need to know. So it's telling you that you can take hot soup to work and it's gonna keep it hot, superior temperature insulation, it's gonna keep it hot, make a food grade stainless steel, which what I mentioned earlier that they showed that it has a 304 on it, that's the type of grade and that it's leak and spill proof. So since it's being screwed on, if you turn it over, it's not going to spill. Now looking over to the side on the description and the name of the store itself, it has charm vision dash win. Again, that could be way better. I could take hot soup to work for lunch superior. Oh, it's the same thing that's on the other side. If you make Facebook ads and you get a notification saying that somebody commented on your ad, try to respond back to as many as you can. That also makes customers feel a bit more comfortable when purchasing from the website that's being advertised. Now let's check out the interactions. It has about 31,000 likes, 
1.9,000 comments and 10 million views. So let's check out the seller's website for this product. So it has Charm Vision Portable Insulated Lunch Container Set. Okay, this is a pretty good title. I like the title. It's straightforward, straight to the point and no filler. Taking a look at the images, you have the safe insulated lunchbox made of 304 grade stainless steel food grade material. Safe insulated lunchbox, long time insulation. So all these images actually look really good. They look really clean. They actually look like they could be part of a bigger chain store. Like I really like the quality of these images. They're really good. The pricing is $49.98 on sale from $99.98. It actually shows that people are recommending this on Facebook. So 75 people on Facebook have recommended it. You have the different styles, the two tier bag, the three tier bag, and then the four tier plus the bag, two different colors, white and brown. And you get a limited gift only today. You get a free lunch bag and utensil set. Again, this gives people a sense of urgency and makes them feel pressured to purchase it because they don't want to miss out on the free gift. We've been seeing this as a recurring trend on the other listings because it works. Giving the customer a sense of urgency gives them the fear that they're going to miss out and people don't want to miss out. People don't like missing out. So it makes it more likely for the customer to make the purchase on the spot. Aside from that, it shows that 200 people are currently looking at this product. It gives you a few different discount options when you buy more. Trust badges just like the other ones. And let's check out the description. This is what always interests me. All right. So enjoying delicious meals on the go has never been so easy thanks to the layered lunchbox. Going somewhere, prefer to carry lunch to work, keep it in a safe environment, do not risk any exposure to bacteria. Bringing your own meal makes sure you do not contaminate your environment and your environment does not contaminate you or your food. Okay. If you like to eat your food hot and fresh, even hours after it was cooked, then you should own this thermal lunchbox. Okay. So pretty much it's telling you the specifications of the lunchbox, what it's good for. Apparently it's good to keep out bacteria. That I don't think was needed, but when you translate something, especially with two completely different languages like Chinese and English, a lot of things are going to get lost in translation. So that's probably where a lot of that comes from. If you keep going down, you have superior temperature insulation, premium material. So you have the features, the sizing, and then you have the trust badges at the bottom. I like that. And the guarantee, how to pay. And that's pretty much it. So I like how this listing has been structured. I like the fact that it has all of the specifications towards the top. They should have kept this trust badge at the bottom along with the other one, but whatever. So it gives you everything you need to know about the product. It gives you some pretty good descriptions and some pretty good images. So overall, this website is actually pretty good. It looks good. Also, what I really liked about this is the fact that they didn't put the discount in the title. So now let's check out the supplier. Let's check out where it's being sourced from. And on AliExpress, it's selling for $10.06 with free shipping. The delivery time is roughly about a month and it has a five star review with two reviews and about 15 people have ordered it. Here you can see the different sizes along with the different colors with the variations. You also have a few different ways to save a little bit of money. So you can save $4 off of every $30 up to a max of $12. You can get an extra 2% off or if you purchase two pieces or more, you get 2% off. Now looking into the target audience for this particular product, you have both males and females between the ages of 16 to 45. This one has a lower age range. It starts at 16 because of the fact that it's a lunchbox. So these lunchboxes can be used by kids or students that are going to school as well. So you have marital status, both single and married, and their interests are working professionals, parents, and as I mentioned, students. Now moving on to our number eight product, we have the touch control crystal lamp. Now this is actually kind of calling my attention because this has been coming up on my feed for the past couple of weeks now before I even looked into this, before I even found out about this product. So it's definitely been making its rounds, being advertised to different people. So currently the selling price for this is about $38.64. The sourcing price is about $9.63 and the potential profit is $29.01. So let's check out the Facebook ad really quick and let's see if it's the same one that I've seen. And it is not, but it is. I'll tell you right now. So it's pretty cool. You can touch the top, it turns it on, changes the temperature of the light. It has a really cool pattern because of the outer design of it. Overall, it looks really cool. Now, the only thing I'm not entirely sure about is, let's go back here really quick. You see all of these little sparkles? It looks like the little stars are floating out. I don't know if that's an added effect or if that's part of the light itself. Aside from that, the ad itself is pretty clean, straightforward, straight to the point, tells you everything you need to know about the product, shows you how it works, and it shows you how good it looks because really it does look really good. It looks like a really cool addition to any room, any living room or bedroom maybe. Aside from that, right under it, we have the touch control rose crystal lamp. Then the name of the company is grapebeanbean.usa. <laughs> What's up with these page names? Like they could be so much better. Wow, so beautiful. I need this in my life. This literally says absolutely nothing about the item or anything of the description. Now they have some comments under it directly from the author. It shows, please order it here directly if you need. It gives you a discount code 
best wishes to you. And then in the comments, they actually put the description. The perfect stocking stuffer in this winter. The perfect stocking stuffer in this winter. Once again, a variety of choose from to meet your preferences. Okay, this was obviously completely translated from more than likely Chinese to English. So that's why all these grammatical errors are on there. They shouldn't have put the description in the comments. They should have put it in the actual description part up here or maybe even down here added in a few different features maybe but let's take a look at the comments i want this it helps with stress and anxiety gave us gifts and me everyone loved them beautiful we'll get it before christmas i love how bright it gets the glass panel reflects the light through the glass which gives petal like reflections and they actually put a picture on here which looks pretty cool it looks fairly similar to what they showed in the ad without the extra sparkliness now if you continue you have another one here which is the same thing it gives you the same pattern without the extra sparkliness so i'm thinking that the effect that they have here all those little sparkles are just an added effect or a filter if that's the case whenever you're making your ad try not to include that because that gives people false expectations and when they receive it they could potentially see it they're going to notice that it doesn't have those extra little specks of light and that could potentially cause some problems and maybe get returns so if it's not an actual feature don't include it don't add filters like that don't put extra features on it that aren't on there because people are not going to be happy even though the comments here are saying that it's a fantastic product it's best to be 100 honest with what you're selling so aside from all of that you have 2.2 thousand likes and loves 123 different comments and 402 thousand views now let's go ahead and check out the seller's website and the name of the website again is grape bean bean that is a strange name to say the least now once again they have the discount in the title summer hot sale 49 off touch control rose crystal lamp buy two free shipping you have the price with its markdown it shows that about 18,000 have sold this month again whether that's true or not i'm not sure but that does serve as a sort of social proof it makes people think that people have been purchasing this non-stop and they don't want to miss out they don't want it to sell out you can get five percent off this looks like it was taken straight from alibaba so you have the different types you have the tricolor and then you have the 16 color with remote control you scroll down a little bit more they have worldwide shipping it's been recommended by a certain amount of people and at the cart pay or pay with paypal or debit or credit card then you have your deals your trust badges and then once again you have a bit more text with some gifts but the difference that i'm seeing here is that this page is more filled in so if you notice this is the only page that i've noticed that has images on both the right and the left and i like that it makes it feel a bit more full it makes it feel better it's just all that extra empty space just it, it doesn't look good i personally don't like it it doesn't look professional so continuing here it shows that the new concept diamond design is a simple and modern luxury experience it shines like a diamond without losing its special 3d technology the 3d effect is like a diamond so it's advertising that it does have those little shimmery effects i think i'm not entirely sure but again if you decide to sell this test it out see what it's like and be 100 truthful if it has has that little shimmeriness include it if it doesn't obviously don't so scroll down a little bit it gives you a bit more of the product it gives you its main features on the side it shows you plug and power so it's powered by usb type c simple click all you have to do is touch the top long press it to turn it off gives you a remote control different scenes different uses i like the page i like how it looks i feel that all of this down here should have probably been a bit more towards the top but overall i think with the pictures it does it justice like you can get what you need by looking through these images and then you have the guarantee and then just the frequently bought together all right so let's go ahead and check out the supplier's website now so on aliexpress this is actually wow this is only selling for $1.49 with shipping of three dollars and 41 cents so it has a 4.3 star review with 319 reviews on over a thousand orders. So this is definitely a hot seller. In our ninth spot for top dropshipping products for the month of April, we have the Solar Firework Garden Lights. Now these have a starting selling price of $21.54. Their sourcing price is about $9.46, leaving you with a potential profit of $12.08. So let's check out the Facebook ad for these. So in this Facebook ad, you have just an image. There's no video uh, showing the features of the light. The name of the company is Memorial RE, Memorial RE, and the description shows, I bought these from my mom and sister. They are not only beautiful, but my sister lives in the country and her neighbors a quarter mile away can see them at night extremely pleased i don't know if they can see it on a quarter mile away but i'll take her word for it or their word for it so looking at the ad you have 70 percent off sale ends in today waterproof solar garden firework um this right here doesn't work sale ends in today aside from that you have 139 comments 101 people have shared it and 1.9 thousand people have either liked or loved it this ad 
overall though i think is pretty poor it does tell you you know that you can see the lights from over a quarter mile away but that's really it it doesn't give you any more features it, it just gives you a picture of two lights and that's it so you can definitely make a way better ad than this let's go ahead and check out the seller's website and see what that looks like and once again we have memorial r last day 49 percent waterproof solar garden fireworks lamp Okay, so these are the images that they should have added to the Facebook ad. These definitely show a lot more color. They're a lot more vibrant. They're a lot better. And overall, they're just higher quality images. So you see, this image alone would have told me that you can probably see it a quarter mile away, not the one that they posted. But aside from that, the images on the site itself are actually pretty high quality. They look pretty good. Um, the title, as the other ones, it could use some work. It has the discounted price here and the different variations. You have the multicolor, the warm white, and the white, along with the sizes. You have the different bundling options so buy more save more you have the at the cart and buy now a few more uh, discount options all right so let's go ahead and check out the supplier's website for this one so on aliexpress it's selling for seven dollars and 59 cents with a shipping fee of two dollars and 11 cents when it comes to the reviews they have a 4.3 review with 19 different reviews and 53 orders so once again this is a trustworthy supplier this is a trustworthy seller and here they have the different types of colors the different variations which again these images alone are are so much higher quality than the one that they used for the Facebook ad. They could have easily used one of these. Maybe even this one, like this one itself just looks good. Now let's go ahead and check out the target audience for the Facebook ad. And this is geared towards both male and female between the ages of 25 and 55 both single and married with interests in outdoor lighting and home decor, which is actually fairly right. That is the people that you want to target because these are house lights. This isn't really something you're going to be putting in many other places. Now coming up in our last, but definitely not least number 10 spot is the abstract lovers necklace. Now this one sells for about $39 and 73 cents. You can source it for just under $3 at $2 and 74 cents. And you have a potential profit of $36 and 99 cents. The jewelry niche, is full of profits. Let me just tell you that right now. So let's check out the seller's Facebook ad. I'm actually pretty interested for this one. All right, so looking at this Facebook ad, we can see that the seller is Viennice, which is the same one that sells the wolf pendant. So let's see the description. Love and be loved is the most beautiful thing in the whole world grab one here. So it's pretty simple, straight to the point, straightforward. Shows two people hugging, two people embracing in the form of a little necklace. And this is obviously something that you can easily give to somebody, either a loved one or your significant other, or maybe even your kids, just showing them that there's nobody like them and that you love them. So as I mentioned earlier in this video with the wolf pendant, having a piece of jewelry that signifies something is meaningful, it's touching, and people absolutely love it. So in that case, it was something like bravery. In this case, it's love. Looking at the interaction on the post itself. It has about 8.7 thousand likes and loves, 728 comments, and 550 shares. Now, reading through the comments, it isn't necessarily social proof because people aren't fully saying that they love the item, they received it, and it was great, but they are saying that it is a very pretty item. They're saying how they love it and how they want one or how they want to give it to somebody else. So that in itself is actually a kind of social proof showing how people like or love this type of item or this item in particular. So now let's go ahead and check out the seller's website. And once again, it's a VNI's website. The name here is Love Style 2. I mean, I guess that's an okay name for it, but they should probably put like necklace or pendants or something. But aside from that, it's definitely a better title than the wolf pendant one. It shows that 24 visitors are currently browsing it. When I jumped on, it was 16 and it's been going up to 24 and then going down and going up. It has 38 reviews. Again, it's giving you a countdown pressuring you to purchase it before the sale ends which pretty sure once that countdown ends it's just going to restart and it gives you the option to buy two get 10 percent off it gives you all of the different variations and it even gives you a limited sale a silver and silver and a silver and black and also a limited edition so the limited sales could be a limited sale so it's going to be on sale up to a certain time let's see so the black and silver is 38 dollars the limited sale is 28 dollars the rose gold is back to 38 and then again the limited sale is 28 yeah so the limited sale is an extra discount and then you have the limited edition which is a bit more expensive but it's also made out of sterling silver and it's limited edition so when something's limited edition that could potentially mean that it's not going to be around forever once they sell out they sell out again it could potentially be just a marketing technique trying to get people to feel pressured to purchase it before it runs out it might never run out chances are it probably won't run out but you never know so aside from that you have the design and then you have a different type so you have type a which is the pendant of 1.8 inches 
and the chain of 15.7 inches and the type B pendant, which is just a little bit bigger at 1.96 inches, but the chain itself is bigger at 23 inches. So you have the different variations. They're very clearly listed and you can easily tell the difference. All right, so on the supplier's website, I'm assuming it's gonna be fairly similar to the wolf pendant one. And here we have that it's being supplied for 95 cents. This piece of jewelry is 95 cents only with a shipping fee of $1.47. That's really cheap. And that's the thing when it comes to jewelry. A lot of jewelry, it's really just melting metals, mixing them together, depending on the type of jewelry that it's gonna be or the type of metal that it's gonna be and molding it. So the materials to make these things, a lot of times are fairly cheap, especially if they're coming from China. And people put a lot of value in jewelry, which makes it easier to make these a bit higher ticket items and sell them for a higher profit. So let's check out the different variations that they have here. Here they have the metal color X, the metal color G and Y. I don't know what Y would be. I'm assuming G is gold, X, I'm not sure, rose gold, but they don't have as many variations that they do here. So I'm thinking that they probably have multiple suppliers, which is something that you should always keep in mind. Always try to have different suppliers have multiple suppliers because if you have an issue with one, maybe one supplier runs out of a certain item, you always have a backup to be able to back up your items from. So, you know, if you run out of X supplier, you can always hit up Y supplier and they got your back. Also, it's really good to have multiple suppliers for the simple fact that you can have different variations. So as you see, this particular supplier doesn't have all the variations, but if you look around a few different websites, Maybe if you check out CJ Dropshipping or DHgate, you can find different variations on there. Now, at the end of the video, I am going to show you a way to be able to source all of these products yourself and how to be able to find winning products. So stick around for that so that way you don't have to go crazy Googling different suppliers and different variations of different items. Now, let's check out the target audience for this product. And for the most part, that's going to be women between the ages of 18 and 45, both single and married with interests in jewelry and accessories. So that pretty much wraps it up for the top 10 products to dropship in April 2023. Remember that if you want the cheat sheet, all you have to do is comment down below, hashtag April 2023, along with your favorite product in today's list, and I'll leave you a link. So I did mention that I'm going to show you how you can source new items, find new trending products to be able to sell and stay up to date with current trends. So the easiest way to do that is by going on over to our platform over at autods.com and checking out the winning product section. So once we're on there, we're going to see tons upon tons of different winning items. All of these are proven to sell. They've sold in the past. And let's take, for example, this one right here, this Nordic luxury crystal LED desk light. Let's go ahead and click into that. And once we click into it, everything that I talked about earlier, the target audience, the Facebook ad, the potential profits, everything is going to be in here. So if you scroll down a little bit, you're going to see that you have have your potential profit. So it's being sold for about $486 and your profit is about 246. Now the item cost here is about $312 from AliExpress. Now you have here your target audience, as I had mentioned earlier, you have male and female between the ages of 21 to 40, both single and married, studying, working, and relaxing at home are the interests and even occupations, students and remote workers. Now we can also take a look at an example of a Facebook ad, which shows here it's being sold by Jose Nart A, a quick example of the picture, and some insights from AutoDS. So here we give you a quick explanation and a breakdown of the Facebook ad, the features, the descriptions, everything pretty much you need to start selling this item. And if you want to check out the seller's website, you can also click this little link right here and it'll take you to the site. So here you have one of the websites where it's being sold. Now, if you like this item and you want to quickly import it into your store, all you have to do is click on import draft and then just check out the draft section over here and you'll see it on there and you'll be able to optimize everything you need, including the titles, descriptions, variations, images, everything. So that pretty much wraps it up for today. Those were our picks for the top 10 winning products to drop ship in April, 2023. Once again, my my name is Mario with Out of DS, where we bring you all things dropshipping and keep you up to date with the latest trends and winning products. So remember, if you found this video informative, if you liked it, if you found it helpful, make sure to subscribe and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. And if you did like the video, make sure to leave a like. Remember to comment down below, hashtag April 2023, along with your favorite item in today's list for access to the cheat sheet. And that pretty much wraps up for today and I'll catch you all in the next video.